is Karen on the Lake Stamper here in Michigan. How's everyone's weekend going? As you know, I'm a demonstrator for Stampin' Up! And if you see any of the items, these are going to be new items that are in the mini catalog. Feel free to use any of my links listed below. And if you're excited about a lot of these items and you want to get a good deal, highly recommend you join my team and get a whole bunch of goodies for like under 100 bucks. And I'll be sending out to you the Timeless Tulip uh, stamp set and you will also be getting the mini trimmer and the sample pack of all these goodie papers uh, so I, I I highly recommend you look into that okay so today we're going to be doing the um, I think this is cute the under my umbrella I know I think of Rihanna singing it don't you <laughs> and it comes with this cute punch uh, I thought this is this is great. It's, you can punch all kinds of umbrellas. Um, so what I did on this one is I used the uh, Best Dressed, um, which is some of this paper right here, which is for the Dress to Impress grouping. It's got flowers on one side, and it's got makeup and handbags on the other. And since I don't usually see handbags that are umbrellas, let's turn it around, and you can use a lot of these to make a really pretty umbrella. So uh, that's what I did on this one, a nice, simple, a two-tier umbrella, um, and then um, one of the sayings. And then this one was more into the stamp, and I had to do a little bit of coloring with my stamp and blends. And I would used this, the smaller um, punch right here of this little umbrella, and I thought that came out pretty cute. You know, it's just gonna rain all on my little card there. <laughs> So, I thought instead of doing stamps today, we're just going to do, well, we are going to do stamps. Uh, we'll do the same, but let's use some of the um, dressed, uh, dress to impress or best dressed uh, paper. So, uh, we're going to use lovely lipstick. I've got it already set. This is one of the, from the best dressed. Okay, on this side, it's really pretty flowers, but I like this side for like, you know, it looks kind of like rain, doesn't it? Um but it's in color. <laughs> so, um, again, A2 size card, and this uh, first one is uh, five and a quarter times four, and we're really not gonna do any more tiers. If you want to, you absolutely can. Um, not really necessary. So we're just gonna do this one right here, nice and simple. Lovely lipstick is just so pretty. And let me just tell you, in the catalog, it, it actually lets you know which um, items or which uh, stamps or inks go with this. So I know that Lovely Lipstick and Petal Pink and Daffodil Delight will go really nice with this. Well, so with the paper, right? So nice coordinating stuff. If you've got it, check your um, inventory, see what you have already. And and funny thing is, I bought Lovely Lipstick last year. <laughs> Never used it, had it. And I'm like, oh great, now I can use it this year. Super. So I'm gonna use it, yeah. And now it goes with the best dress, so yeah. So now, I punched these out. These are so simple to punch, obviously. Um, Whatever paper is, you know, that really excites you here. Uh, let me get one of the papers that I already had done um, right here. I've already done that one, but let's let's look at doing this one here. See? So just go in there, punch it, bam. And it has all three, uh, it has, it looks, you know what? You could use this for a candy cane in December. See that little cane part right there? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> when you're done making umbrellas, you can make candy canes in December. So remember that, okay? Okay, so I've already got these two already made. I uh, punched out the really pretty, uh, it looks like peonies, doesn't it? And then I, I punched out the yellow trim of this cardstock right here. Um, which uh, is really very nice, very, very, very pretty. And then the peony uh, set. So I've already done this set right here. I already had my other peony um, already done, but I wanted to show you what I do is to make it kind of a two-tier umbrella, you know, like one of those big thick ones. 
Um, I'm going to put this one on the bottom, all right, and I'm just going to put this one on the top. And, you know, it, it, it just depends on what, what size you like, what color you like, um, since there's so many different kinds of paper, you know. And if you don't like, you can always fussy cut a little bit too on some of these, on some of the six by six, especially the bigger. This is what I did on this one. Uh, I used this one here and I kind of fussy cut it as much as I possibly could to get some of the bigger um, flowers. Okay, so I've got the two tier, all right. Now let me get my, whoops, it fell on the floor. There we go. Let's see. I'm going to use this side of the cane, all right, and I'm just going to put a little bit of tape in the back. This should be darling. There we go. Okay, and then if it's too short, the cane is just, um, there we go, make it just a little bit longer. All right, so. I've got one umbrella there. You could do them upside down too, you know. Um, whatever kind of, you know, rolls your hair back. Um, so I'm going to do this one here. I'm going to do this one, I think, here. And then this little guy. Well, no, I'll do the yellow one here because it's the only yellow one I've got. Yeah. And then I'll do this one. So kind of like, kind of like what I did here. Um, and then put it a little bit more in an angle. But yet I still want some room to put a saying, okay? So, and then I'm gonna use some embellishments, obviously for the, like I did on this one, I'm gonna use some embellishments just to kind of pop it a little bit. You know, like, it's pretty rain. <laughs> right, right. As long as it doesn't get our hair, we're good, okay? I'm just saying. Especially when you get your hair done, like I do. All right. I know. Don't tell me if you if, if I know I wear those little plastic things just so I don't get my hair all wet. <laughs> yep. All right. So what did everybody do to, this weekend? I started taking down everything, clean, did a lot of organization, um, and redid my craft room again with my California closet and just started purging some stuff that I, I'm not using. Like, okay, bye bye um, And we're just gonna kind of put it there for just a second. We're not gonna put it all the way down. And so I felt so much better. I mean, oh my gosh. I felt so much more organized. Made um, homemade spaghetti. So that's, you know, cooking right now. I feel so domestic. <laughs> that's my diet I'm gonna have spaghetti I'm, I know I'm gonna have carbs hello <laughs> yeah I'll exercise I'll exercise tomorrow okay so okay let's look at this and see if we like it let's see if we like it right here I kind of want to leave some room I've already stamped my saying I'm gonna use, uh, no matter the weather, we're friends forever. I'm thinking I, I might wanna put it down here. Just wanna make sure there's a little bit of room. There is. So, and then I can always, you know, see if I need to lift it. Nope, I think we're good there. And then let's just do this little guy. See how quick this is? So get your favorite paper that matches this grouping if you already have it. If you don't, you, you know, uh, order some lovely lipstick. I think it's really pretty, it's really bright. Or you could do the deaf, or you've got if you've got old olive at home, or mint macaroon, or pretty peacock, um, or blackberry. You know any of those other colors, they're gonna look just as good too. Especially the uh, blackberry goes really well with this. But I wanted to use lipstick, so I know I had to use the lipstick color. Um, there we go. Okay. And oops, let's get that guy off there. Aren't these cute umbrellas? <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna put him, I think right here. I kind of like where everybody is. And now I can smush the stamping and the little dimensionals. All right, now this guy, I'm gonna pop up just a little bit. I popped him up on this one. And all we're gonna do is 
do a quickie here and get these popped ready to go and then we're going to do the decoration of the embellishments because I think that really makes the card I really do so so simple let's move all these things I've got all over okay and these do remind me of um pansy so that's really kind of cute there we go so we've got the base of it nice and simple card real simple two-tier umbrella just uh, cut out punch out a whole bunch of umbrellas is basically what I did and then now let's do some uh, playing here let's uh, let's get my embellishments I'm really into my amethyst and my champagne <laughs> these are my champagne uh, that are in the new catalog as well <laughs> all these new things I know let's use the a um, little bit bigger um, champagne I'm gonna just put them on the very tip of our of the umbrella of each umbrella there's a little bit of a ball on top of that so it kind of looks kind of cute like it was supposed to be there kind of thing so nice now you can use any of these colors that you have uh, if you've got something in the pinks or the greens or um, the champagne obviously or even this color the gold facet ones um, would be pretty too but I think the purple just kind of um, pops out it looks like it's raining even though it's you know it's not really raining but it looks like it <laughs> this is it's sleet <laughs> big raindrops <laughs> but with when you're using a bigger uh, embellishment you don't need to put so many on you know um, so that makes it makes it easy too and I'm just gonna put one down here so there we go and I think that came out pretty cute look at that <laughs> simple simple and if you want to get more you know extravagant you can go into the stamping of with all the uh the, the stamp set that is included with all the raindrops and so i just wanted to show you i did fussy cut the the hunter boots i pretend they were hunter boots but they're yellow <laughs> um and you could really just go to town with all your pretty stamping pens um that i was using um so i used all the fun colors lovely lipstick obviously is in there and poppy parade and melon mambo daffodil delight so you could really have some and balmy blue for the rain but this one makes it look so easy it's so cute so a really quick uh quick idea to do inside the card is use the leftover from the paper that we used which i had some left over and then you remember we punched uh with the punch set, uh, the smaller umbrella. So I thought, well, I'll just put this in here and it could be a really nice note card. It doesn't have to have a whole bunch of saying inside of it. Uh, it's already got a really nice sentiment on the outside. Uh, and this is a thank you. So sometimes you really do want to write a thank you card to someone and, and tell them what you think you're thankful for. Um, but yet I still wanted the big umbrella because I used the small umbrellas here. And then this little guy, I used the leftover again and use my these are pansies now i kept saying peonies i'm like hello karen come on you're a master gardener you're supposed to know this stuff <laughs> so anyway if you want to uh get a little bit more intricate and use all the stamp uh set then this is the way to go otherwise if you you know you're in a quick hurry and you want to just punch some stuff out these are so much fun so I hope you uh, enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to use uh, umbrellas. <laughs> but I think you already know how to do that. So anyway, I hope you have a great weekend, uh, the, the rest of it. And I hope you have a great week. All right. I'll chat soon. Take care. Bye-bye.